What is up everybody and I'm back with another video and this is going to be part two of the um, single cab uh, Ford Dually, the F350. Um, I'm super excited about this truck. As you can tell, I did get most of the paint off uh, the inside. I'm trying to figure out a better um, like a better paint strip or something that's more of a liquid than it is more of like a thick like jello or whatever. I'm not a huge fan of um, of the orange peel or of the orange citrus I think orange orange citrus something. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it just because um, it usually leaves a bunch of crud in there so I might have to clean all that up before I can actually even spray this thing or anything like that. But we are going to do some JB Weld um, on this truck here real quick. And uh, hopefully you guys um, are excited for that. And got all the, got the frame most of the way stripped. As you can tell, the citrus strip did not take it all off. Um, we still got some right down in here. And we're going to take a brush and we're kind of going to scrape that off a little better. And then we're going to prime it and paint it. Probably clear it um, just to make sure everything stays on. I usually do prime, prime, paint, clear, all that good stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is I am going to grab this little toothpick here that I broke. Um, and we're going to take a little bit of this. If you can see what I'm doing there. I don't want too much. I don't think we'll need too much for this. Um... I don't want to get it in the door jams or nothing like that. So, I'm going to take a little more hardener than we do steel. Then we're just going to take it and mix it up. So, and uh, also, we will have a new video on the, um, on the four-door square body coming very soon. So, if you guys are interested in the four-door square body there will be a new video out very soon and i'll actually give you a sneak peek of the frame um, it ain't nothing too special i just got um got a little piece of styrene glued glued into place to where i want it to where the frame and the back of the bed um on the frame will actually stay together I'll get a little less on here all right so let me slide you guys this way just a little bit um so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a little less off there i don't want very much in this little gap here because i don't think it'll take too much at all to get this thing to where i want it because the body line actually did turn out pretty well on the top of the truck for the most part, there's a couple bigger spots. This one be kind of a little bit harder to sand it out just because um, it's got those little rivets in the top of the truck. Or not rivets, but you know what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm not pulling it away from you. So I just want to cover that little gap right there on top of the truck. I'm actually pretty excited for this single cab. I've not did a Ford yet, as you guys know. So we're going to, whoop, almost dropped it. We're gonna, I do apologize if I'm being quiet. I'm trying to get the JB weld as perfect as I can so that way there's less sanding I have to do once I get started on the truck on all little crevices there is some more oh, quite a few more body lines on a Ford than there is a Chevy I will say that right off the bat there is quite a few more body lines on the Ford so I'll just take a little JB weld off of there. I try not to use too terribly much just so we can work with it a little easier when once it dries a little a little bit at a time. Try and get it away from that door a little bit. 
or the door handle. I'm not as worried about it on the side of the truck just because um, there's not much of a gap over there on that side. Uh, so we've got a little gap right here. We're going to fill this in real quick. I got JV weld all over my finger somehow. I'm not 100% sure how I did that. Kind of laying the JB weld in there. I will be giving a sneak peek of the square body four door here up pretty soon in this video. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, it is going to be up very soon. I'm hoping I get a video out tomorrow of the four door square body. Um, hopefully we'll get it into primer soon. I've actually got um, some black primer sitting aside for it. Uh, just waiting on <clears throat> waiting on the truck. Um, so as you can tell here, I did get all of it JB welded. Um, hopefully that is all of it. Um, and as you can tell the top of it there, we got some JB weld up top there. And um, I'm thinking about doing a little cow hood on this truck. You think that would be kind of cool? I don't know. Let's see how much JB weld we got here and how much we can stick on the hood. So we're going to do a little cow hood on this truck. I don't actually do the cow hood very often. So we're going to have a Ford F-350 with a possibly or with a possible cow hood on it. How's that sound? You guys get the full effect on a cow hood. And we're going to have to make some more JB weld up. So we're just going to try and scoop all the rest of this up here. Oh, I stuck my finger right in that JB weld. Uh, get that off my finger. All right, going back to... And we will have to shape this once it comes time. I'm not a huge JB weld guy. Man, this stuff is sticky. So, what I'm going to do now, as you can see there, I got a complete disaster. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find another little toothpick. If I can find one here. Let's see, let's see. That's not too thick. I'm not sure what I did with them. But anyways, let's go ahead and get some of this JB weld off of my toothpick here. And we're just going to push it kind of off to one side. And we're just going to kind of shape the cow hood a little bit right now. So. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I keep messing with the phone. I keep hitting the hitting the little side of that. So we're gonna try and not touch it again. If that'll be possible. Alright, so kind of slide this back to the back if we can. Alright. So there's that. Let's get, see if we can't gather up a little more JB Weld off of here. I'm just going to kind of dab it back here in the back. Oh. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to turn out. So don't just bear with me on this as we do a cow hood on a Ford F-350. 
All right, so once we actually get, get a little bit drier, we will um, kind of shape this up a little bit more. It's kind of hard to work with JB Weld when it's, when it's super wet. All right, so as you can see there, we got the start of a cow hood. Um, I'm thinking it's probably uh, probably right at center on the truck. Um, we're just gonna push it a little bit more this way. All right, there's that side. Let me get a little JB weld off here. And then we're gonna push it this way just a little bit. And what I do is I always try and like, if you're doing a cow hood or something like this, um, you kind of want to run this way. So all your JB weld kind of pushes towards it or towards the front of the truck. So that way it kind of, all of it goes to the back of the truck instead of towards the front where you're kind of wanting a little bit of a slant on it. And as you can tell there, we kind of got one going on a little bit. Um, got a little bit of a dent in the top of it. So hopefully we can get all that figured out. And if we need to, once this all dries uh, completely solid, we will uh, go back over it again with a little bit more JB Weld. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my finger here. I'm just gonna wipe some of that off of there. Cause I do, I did have a bunch of it on the side of the truck. So what I'm gonna do on this side I stuck my finger right in the cab again. Right where I did not want to stick my finger. So we're just going to have to add a little bit more JB Weld to the side there. Just because I touched it. I'm bad about that. I always touch it. Cannot touch the JB Weld. But anyways, there is the cow hood. Hopefully it turns out awesome. Hopefully, we'll have a sweet looking, sweet looking F-350 if we get a sweet cow hood out of the deal. Wouldn't that be sweet to have a sweet looking cow hood on this truck? Maybe not. Might have to take it all back apart and just completely chip it all back off. Never know. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed part two of the uh, single cab F350 build. Um, next video, we will be doing a little bit of work on the cow hood. I will be shaping this off the camera, uh, which ain't very hard. You just kind of push it to where you want it, and then you just kind of push it off the side. Once the JB Weld is drier, um, drier, dry, dry, or more dry, I don't know, something crazy like that, some, some weird word, but, um, what we want to do is just let it harden just a little bit and uh, kind of push it around with our finger, kind of push it on this side and this side, kind of get exactly right in the center of the truck. Um, it's not too hard. It's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon somewhere down here in the bottom. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.